Lots of teenagers are about to get very rich. Why is that? Well, the data strongly shows that traditional jobs are being replaced and online jobs are booming. But surely that means there'll be too much competition in the online space. Well, teenagers have an advantage as they understand the online world better than anyone else. It's just second nature. But Mark, I don't know what to do. Well, that's why I'm going to be revealing the 7.5 best paid online jobs for teenagers. And this isn't any old list. For each one, I'm going to provide a real life example of a teenager currently killing it in that job. Job one is an advertising deal broker. Teenagers doing this job earn as much as $100,000 to $120,000 per year. In 2021, I bought a Tesla Model 3 and I set myself a bit of a challenge. I wanted to see if it was possible to use lots of different side hustles to earn back the price of the car. One of the ideas my son and I came up with was to get it wrapped like a race car, which would involve securing paid advertisements. At this point, we received a cold email from a teenager called Christian, completely out of the blue, who said that he was able to secure the sponsorship we required for a 30% commission. Christian managed to get an offer of $30,000 on the table. Had we accepted this deal, he would have made a sweet $9,000 for essentially matching us with with the brand and acting as the middleman. In the end, Curtis managed to secure a different deal with public.com, so we went with them. However, Christian has managed to secure many of these deals in the past. That's why we can still offer you a free stock worth all the way up to $1,000 from public with the link in the description. Christian told me that the best way to be successful with this job is to make friends in the right places. He described it a lot like a jungle, where one branch would lead to the next one and so on. Once you start working with one big company, Company, it becomes a lot easier as you can reference them as a past client and therefore demonstrate that you have experience in the areas that they require. So how does he do it? He uses different software to get the email addresses of influencers and just fires off messages until he gets a bite. Then he evaluates the needs of the clients that contact him back and runs a similar campaign focused on reaching out to brands on the influencer's behalf. It kind of reminds me of the book How to Win Friends and Influence People where Dale Carnegie talks about sending mail to powerful people and getting replies, only the modern day version. If we learn anything from Christian, it's the power of a good reference and relationships. Always do your best work because you never know where something might lead in the future. Job two is a Discord community manager for Web3. These teens make more than $70,000 a year, depending on their multitasking ability. When it comes to marketing for Gen Z, community is everything. Every brand under the sun is trying to build a community around their product. This is actually the main reason why Gymshark have set up their first store in London. The real purpose of this store needs to be to really cultivate the Gymshark community and connect with people. Now, if you've ever used Discord, then you've probably met a community manager. They're like the glue that holds everything together. I know a guy called Harry who hires community managers. He said that he wouldn't bat an eyelid at paying more than $2,000 per week if they were good at the job and represented the brand in a positive light. Additionally, if you're good at multitasking, there's nothing stopping you from being a community manager for three or four projects at the same time, which means big money. The job of the community manager is to be on the front line. You have to tell the story of the brand, be customer service and support, as well as supporting people when they're down and paying attention to global events. You need to be able to pause your schedule, be active when people are looking for you, and listen when people people need your attention. Above all, you have to be the voice of the CEO, but not always speak on behalf of the company. Job three is writing scripts for content creators. These teens can earn upwards of $100,000, but can go a lot higher depending on the type of content and your experience. Words can make you sound smart, or they can do the opposite, depending on how they're deployed. That's why businesses hire copywriters, basically salesmen in print. Copywriters can make insane amounts of money. I'm talking over $500 an hour in many cases. It all depends on how good you are at making connections, your skill with words, and how fast you can write. Some charge as much as $50,000 for just one web page. You may be thinking, why so much? Well, it's all about value. If you charge $50,000 for a web page and it results in a business monthly profit going from $200,000 to $400,000, wouldn't you say it's worth it? It's all about leverage, making rich clients even richer, then asking for your slice of the pie. And it's not just websites either. 
people need quality writers for all sorts of things. Everything from TikTok scripts to threads on Twitter. Content is king and the magician behind all of this is often the writer. I know a guy named Adam. He started off writing blog posts about his travels to earn passive income and live anywhere in the world. This later led him to working as a copywriter for large influencers. He followed the same strategy as Christian, got one client which led to another and so on. He told me when he offers a service, he always tries to be exclusive and do it in a way that no one else could. There's always going to be someone cheaper than you, but not always someone more expensive. Find the client who can afford to pay the premium, then learn to offer a world-class service. Job four is a SaaS software coder. These teens can earn between 60 and $80,000 a year. A guy called Sam King came on my podcast, Strike It Big, and explained how he built a multi-million dollar business without ever having a normal job. Instead of building a traditional business, he decided to build a SaaS company. This stands for Software as a Service. Just think of how many online tools you use on a daily basis. I know I love Notion, MailChimp, Photoshop and many more. These online tools have become such a big part of our life and once the app is built it's almost entirely profit. Sam said there's so many people out there trying to sell the same type of product with such tight margin it's a race to the bottom with traditional businesses. People start businesses to be free but end up becoming slaves. That's why he wanted to create a business with no inventory and something that could scale infinitely. All he needed was a good coder and a bit of marketing. This is where you could help out as a coder or alternatively, come up with a SaaS idea. He started by Googling and researching the problems and challenges faced by different types of businesses, then had his programmer create the perfect solution. He ended up building a tool that helps people and businesses manage their social media accounts, called Flick. So the one thing to take from Sam's journey is that the most important part of business is solving an issue that affects a lot of people in a better way than what's currently available. Job five is a content redistribution editor. They can make 120 to $150,000 per year. Ever had some food left over and decided just to throw it all in a pot and turn it into a soup? Well, that's what someone I know called Josh does, but with video content. The idea came to him while he was at Vid Summit. He was in a room with a variety of influencers when suddenly a light bulb went off in his head. He didn't have to create his own content, he just took existing videos and remixed them for YouTubers that wanted to post short form content. He took podcasts and YouTube videos and made them TikTok and Instagram friendly, giving his clients the ability to reach much wider audiences without actually producing any new content themselves. It's called content redistribution. It's like recycling, but in the digital age. It doesn't take too much time, but large creators don't want the hassle of editing everything themselves. Josh later went on to hire team members so that he could serve more clients and increase his income. Job six is a website developer. Teens doing this can earn an average annual salary of around 80 to $150,000 per year. For many businesses, their website is their front door, so they wanna make it as stylish as possible. I've got a friend named Chris who lives out in Italy. He decided he wanted to niche down into the e-learning space and focus on building marketing funnels. A good website developer knows that if you keep your clients on a monthly retainer, you can earn passive income just by doing small tweaks here and there. Chris told me that the best way forward is to start a subscription business with reoccurring revenue. Think Netflix, he said. The best job is one that requires very little maintenance. You just keep clients on a retainer and voila. He now has enough passive income to live almost anywhere in the world. He often travels to cheap countries like Thailand where he can live on less than $1,000 a month. He doesn't focus on earning as much money as possible. He said that's just a trap. The point of making money is to buy yourself freedom. Job seven is a Twitter manager. Teens can earn around 60 to $80,000 per year doing this job. Twitter seems to be the hottest social media nowadays, especially since the whole Elon Musk takeover. I know a college dropout called Sean who wasted a lot of his time trolling on Twitter until he asked himself, what if I could actually make a job out of this? So he decided to become a Twitter expert. He took a lot of time to study the content put out by some of the best creators. Don't just look at the recent stuff though, he told me. Look at the posts that really made them blow up, then study it. 
that's what you want to go for. He said two of the best ways to blow up nowadays on Twitter is to create threads and host spaces. You need to be able to capture people's attention with as few words as possible and hook them in. And that takes a lot of practice, but this is a very valuable skill to learn. Just like the others, he said he takes multiple clients on at the same time, and much like Chris, keeps them on a retainer. Job 7.5 is an executive assistant. It's a bonus because it can become more than just an online job. These teams can make ninety to $110,000 per year. You'll be doing everything from scheduling appointments to making small decisions every day. A good example of this is Gabe from Nelk. He does so much for them. If you make yourself totally indispensable, no one will ever get rid of you. And that's the case with Gabe. A great perk to this job is potentially traveling around with these influencers and seeing all sorts of cool and amazing places. Just like with Christian, Gabe understood the power of connections. It seems like anything is possible nowadays in the digital world. All you need to do is think about something you can offer, some kind of value to the world, then send emails, reach out, and make sure everyone knows what you do. Artificial intelligence is gonna be a big money maker for teens in the future. So if you wanna learn how to use AI to get rich, then I'm gonna leave that video right up there, but don't click on it just yet. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna grow your wealth, okay? I'll see you over there.